Democratic Congressman Adam Schiff now. Congressman, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Oh, it's a pleasure to be with you. There are some raised expectations now that we may see the light at the end of the tunnel. Tell me how you think the next couple of days are going to play out. Well, Lester, there's a lot of moving pieces right now. This morning, Democrats are rolling out a discharge petition uh, to reopen the government. Uh, Senate Democrats are going to be putting forward a uh, clean bill to raise the debt ceiling. And House and Senate Republicans uh, seem to be competing with each other to come up with a plan that's acceptable to the president. Uh, all of that, I think, is positive because it all moves in the direction of reopening the government uh, and avoid, avoiding any kind of default. So what do you think, uh, maybe a day, two days, three days? Uh, you know, my guess is that hopefully something will congeal over the next couple of days and maybe we can bring it up for a vote on Tuesday. Uh, but uh, I think there's a growing recognition, particularly within the GOP, uh, that a default is completely unacceptable and the shutdown is really damaging the country and damaging their brand. Uh, so I, I think we're coming together. This is the first time that we're seeing any light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, but uh, still, we have no deal. Uh, and right. uh, I think what we have is a much greater uh, line of communication and a greater receptivity you, to putting this ugly chapter behind you us. You use the term damaging, and this, this has been damaging, uh, certainly to people's lives, certainly to, uh, to, to, to Congress. I, I'm sure you take some solace that Republicans are taking most of the heat, most of the blame, if we look at the public opinion polls. But all of you look bad in the American public's view. Sixty percent of Americans, according to the NBC uh, Wall Street Journal poll, sixty percent this week say all of Congress should essentially be fired. They want to put you out of a job for the way Congress has handled this. How do you react to that? Well, there's not much solace to be found uh, for anyone in this. And the, the public is right to be infuriated and upset with what's going on. There are no winners in the government shutdown, and, uh, and unfortunately, I'm convinced that these uh, recurrent man-made artificial economic crises, debt ceiling, government shutdown that we go through every three or six months, are the only thing holding back our economic recovery. Uh, it's infuriating because it is so unnecessary. Uh, hopefully, we'll get this done. Uh, the biggest concern I have, Lester, going forward is I don't want to see a short-term deal that just lands us back in the same spot two months from now where we have to fight this out all over again. We need some kind of a structural change where neither party uh, can use something that has to be done, the lifting of the debt ceiling or the keeping over the government, as a bludgeon to get something it doesn't have the votes for. Well, we all hope you all get it together. Congressman, thank you for taking the time to talk with us. We you appreciate bet. it.